Now here's that office tank that I showed you just a couple days ago and I've cleaned out a lot of the plants move some sword tails into here so there's two female heavy sword tails that I'm hoping will drop some young there's also some black mollies in here now again thinking this is more of a breeding tank just because there's so much plant growth and nobody's going after the babies anymore but it's mostly a guppy tank oh big big news that red tail shark that was getting so big in here I decided he had to move to the bigger tank and I said, how am I going to catch him? And so I was able to get in there and with my hand chase him into the net very easily. I was quite pleasantly surprised. And so at this point he's moved to the other tank and now I'm waiting for those red tail sharks to come out so I can take a smaller one and move it back into here because I really do enjoy having him in here. But as you can see, there's a lot of guppies in here. I don't know where the black mollies went. Just got through watching on YouTube a uh, guppy competition over in Taiwan. Oh my god. Oh, there's the black mollies. I've never seen guppies like they had in that competition. Just amazing to realize the fish could be that way. Anyway, that's just a quick update to show you this tank can look a whole lot better. But I like it when it's really crowded with plants so that the babies have plenty of hiding space. And they do well in here, but there's a lot more space now. Okay, another quick update to the office tank. Right in the center of your viewfinder here are two beautiful male lyre tail high finned black mollies. Just purchased over in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, based on a recommendation from one of our fans out there, Mark Zig. And Mark had bought a couple of them, and based on comments at the last video, uh, offered the fact that there were six or eight left. And so my wife and I went over there, and I got to admit they were very expensive molly. They cost us almost $100 by the time we got through f buying fish there. <laughs> but anyway, we got two males and a female high fin liar tail black mollies, which I put here in the office tank because that's got the most algae in it, and uh, along with our other black mollies that uh, we've raised here. Here comes one of those males right now. They look at that orange on the tip of the fin. Don't you love that? And the two males are just gorgeous. The female, I'm not sure where she is right now. We did get a female. I think she's the big one back here. But the males are outstanding. And the young females that we've been raising here uh, will just make great pairing with them. Here's that male right in the front again. Look at that orange on top of that fin. Absolutely gorgeous. $4.98 a piece. Not bad. And I've been looking for them for a while. And I want to thank Mark for suggesting that. As you can see, we've got uh, some brick red sword tails in here now, a male and two females, trying to give them space to have their babies. And the tank is overwhelmed with guppies, of course, which I keep fishing out. Now, there's two males right in front of you. That One doesn't have a high fin on it, and uh, <clears throat> it just went to the back. But they'll be back. Here's one. That's the male that just bought. There's another male we just bought. And then the one that doesn't have the high fin is the one we've raised here. And so all is going well here. Now, as I told you in our last video, we've uh, moved the red tail shark out of here. And as a result, the two clown loaches seem to be much more active and out in the public, as opposed to being shy. And so uh, they're not going to come out today for this. They're in, they're in that hole, in that fixture. And they come in and out, and uh, it's just amazing to see how they fit through that little hole. I don't have this on a tripod, but I'm trying to get you some sense of the activity of this tank. And along with, uh, as you'll see on the comments section of the last video, just a couple days ago, uh, we ended up buying 24 fish. But they were uh, very nice tetras. Got a couple schools of five or six of each of those. They had some nice young zebras. 
Uh, I've got seven of those for $1.98 a piece. And uh, try a pair of killifish. They had one pair there, and the male is an iridescent green. And I was going to buy him when I realized there was a female in the tank. She doesn't have it, it much color to her, kind of drab, but I wouldn't separate the two of them. So we'll see what, how they do in one of the uh, big tanks out in the living room. And then uh, what else did we get? Oh, I found a couple of banana plants. Haven't seen them for a while. Put them in the betta tanks, uh, which now have two young bettas in them. And so they have a little bit of plant growth in them. And uh, just going to show you quickly what they look like. Here's the two bettas in the betta tank. Blue one on the left, red one on the right. And uh, just a small five gallon tank with some plants. And there you can see the banana plants in the front on both of them. And these are nice looking fish. They were, I think, just $1.98 a piece over in Hidden Reef, uh, which they always have a nice selection. Oh, Pam showed me a beautiful one today. It was $16, but what a beautiful bronze color and, you know, a distinguished fin, finage on it. So anyway, these are doing well. Again, sorry for the motion. But uh, we're back into using this as a better tank. Just a quick shot of the bow tank. I don't think you're going to see any of the new fish in there. They're all hidden in the uh, Ballastinari there. And uh, no, I don't see any of the new ones available. They did have a, an angelfish there that I was tempted at. A calico angel it was $11, and that's a little more than we buy. We'd gr like to grow them up like you see in this black one here, who's trying to get your attention by facing head on. But if I turn sideways, maybe you can really see him better. No, he turns with me, right? There we go. I, I moved my hand, and that turned the angel sideways. There's that blue bronze one. And there's what I'm calling calico. I guess it's not really a calico. So I have no idea where the other fish we just bought went. Some of them went in this tank, and the others went in this tank. Uh, see some of the tetras here. My wife found these uh, white finned tetras. You see the school of about four of them right here. That's all they have is four. But we bought them and they really look very pretty. So we put them in this tank, which is usually the opposite. We put the tetras in the bow tank and the other fish here. But uh, we're going to give it a shot. They seem to be doing just fine. Anyway, just a quick update. Again, thank you, Mark, for the adventure you gave us today. Oh, and there's the Pony Variatus. We've got three of them. Haven't seen them around for a while. Okay, until next time, enjoy your fish. If you have to be over in the uh, New Jersey area, I would highly recommend what uh, Mark had recommended to us, and that was a small store, um, Pet Supplies Plus in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. That's where we found these. Not a big store, but uh, I think three rows of about a dozen tanks each, so 36 tanks. Uh, most of those tanks had a mixed different varieties of fish, but uh, Brianna was the great catcher of fish. She did a beautiful job with all 25 of the fish that we bought. And even in a tough tank with fast-moving zebras, she was able to catch them no trouble at all. Really impressive. Anyway, you get some sense of what's going on with the black mollies again here. They tend to go through cycles, and right now we're in a resource-filled cycle where you can really see what's going on.